And we're here with Crazy Ass Nero. How you doing today? You doing down there? Good. What's your shoes? That's good. I'm doing pretty good. Okay, so you know, I got a couple of questions for you today. I just wanna, you know, see how you doing for real, for real. Like, how you feeling? Um, I'm feeling good. I'm a little nervous, but you know, that comes with the game. So, what you nervous about? April eighth, baby, it's going down. Crazy okay. truth coming through. I'm gonna let people know the truth of how crazy ass narrow came and how it became, where the name came, everything. That's where it's going down. That's it's April eighth. That's what I'm nervous. About. All right, so then I'm pretty sure everybody do want to know where did you come up with the name crazy ass narrow? I did it. Uh, the streets people, my family gave me their name. They always, you crazy, you crazy, you crazy. Either if I did something illegal on a nigga ass, or if I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, just me, just being me with the family, you know, I'm the goofy one. I'm a try shit. I'm the nigga that put the prank on the grandma and shit. So that's why I get, get crazy. Never. I didn't make that name. It just kind of stick with me. So have you always wanted to do comedy because of that? Or have you just always just been naturally funny? I would say I ain't never want to do no damn comedy. Really? Because I just, me, I'm a regular nigga, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, like I said, I'm my family or my family, you know, the mutual people I'm with, they know my real personality. They know me, you know what I'm saying? If I'm in the streets with my partner and I'm comfortable with him, like, then he knows my sense of humor and everything. But never thought that I would be making them real laugh, you know what I'm saying? Being on the platform to, you know, get people to, enjoy life with laughter through all they pain and struggle whatever else or just to relate with me you know what i'm saying i ain't thinking that because i just be being me yeah well i mean that's the best way to be naturally you naturally funny you know i've been a couple of your shows and you be turning them up so yeah, yeah 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 so you celebrating five years of comedy have you been doing it consistently for five years or is it just collectively over time okay so that's like when i first started it it was like, like I said, I ain't trying to be in the committee. It was kind of like my people. Like I say, the people I got peers and stuff, they, you should do comedy. You funny. You should try this. I was into doing that, like acting and getting music videos, trying to act and stuff like that. And one of my partners that's actually rapping actually was like, hey, nigga, I'm going to sign your ass up for an open mic. And I'm like, nigga, I ain't no comedian. I'm doing an open mic. And he was like, nigga, don't worry about it. Just go when I call. When I call yeah. that nigga, I'm going to sit there. You're going to go. And I was like, whatever. Thinking that he was going to call. He called that nigga, that nigga called me and said, man, come check it out, man, do up a mic, man. If you don't like it, it's cool. He's just, I'm like, man, I'm not a comedian. I'm a real street nigga, fam. I'm just yeah. regular. He like, man, don't worry about it, just come. And I did it at the butt naked. He was a strip club. That was yeah. my <laughs> I know that's right. <laughs> I did it. I did it. I loved it. And from there, it was kind of like, I don't know if I'm a comedian type of yeah. guy. I don't know if I can be in this type thing. And, you know, this is a different lifestyle to elevate in and then what I'm used to. I'm a regular at his home, baby. You know what I'm saying? Ain't too many comedians, nigga. You gonna tell them we gonna rap or make it to the league. So right. comedian was like, now nah, I was gonna be an actor to make a difference for the hood. But nah, bro. 
once I started doing it and the people started requesting, I became a comedian. So <laughs> that's how I mean. Okay. Well, do you have any people that kind of inspired you? I know that you're saying that your friend told you to come to open mic, but once you got a feel for it and you're kind of like, you know what, I can actually do this. Do you have anybody that's either dead or alive that you look up to as far as in the comedy, you know, um, open mics or, you know, stand up or anything like that? Like for a celebrity wise or just somebody period? It don't matter. Anybody locally um, think? I can say that I got a couple of comedians that um, I love these niggas work on stage. These niggas bring the energy. They, they funny as hell. You know what I'm saying? And they sense the humor is like mine. And uh, they, it's some comedian that, that, that inspired me. I, I would say Rambo. That be, of course, I got to have him. My boy, he's going to be on the show. Mm -hmm. Um, I Lil Daryl, you got Ray, etc. You got that damn month. You got comedians that I look at in certain different calibers of ways of what they do in the crowd that inspired me. Like, yeah, I can do this shit. You know what I'm saying? I, I think I got it. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I get inspiration for some. And before them, it was just like I said, people. You know, I go to work, co work with you. you you funny, you ain't no yeah. idiot. No, nigga, I work here with you. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying? Just, like, I'm just I got a normal job. Right, nigga, yeah. I got a normal job. So, yeah. Okay, so that's that's good. So, what really inspires you? Like, what influences you to be like, you know what, this really is what I want to do, but what is, what inspiration do you have? At one point, like I say, coming up on like that third or fourth year, it wasn't about me no more. It was the people. I could see the reaction for the people, so I believe that that was God. You know, he might be telling me, hey, man, this your avenue right here. This is something I presented that's already within you that I got in you. Your sense of humor, your, the way you talk, you can do this. So from there, it was like, all right, dog, I got you. I hear you. You know, I'm going to take your chance and go that route with it. You know what I'm saying? And that kind of inspired inspired me, plus my kids do goofy stuff like that. I looked you up on YouTube at yeah. school and shit, yeah. on Google and shit. It's like, nigga, I'm great, I'm your daddy. But to yeah. them, it's inspired me to see that they feel that I'm somebody. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So, they look at you me. like my daddy doing this. Right, yeah. right, right. It's I mean, and that's good though, because right. you're showing your kids that, you know, you're doing something that actually, it wasn't even nothing that you wanted to do, right. but it's something that's it's, it's looking up for you. Right, right. It's a different avenue than your basketball career, your ba your football career, you know, yeah. other things, you know what I'm saying? I don't want, and I, I'm a person on being who you are. Right. So I look at my kids and I say, I want you to be who you are, you know what I'm saying? So your personality is who you is. I'm going to love you. Right. I want to see the real you. So when I do release you to the world, I know you, you know what yeah. I'm saying? I don't have to take the thought of nobody else or what they saying about you because I know you. I know your ends and I know your personality, you your true self around me so that's kind of like what i installed to my kids and it kind of helps me with the comedy because it's like it'll be you because that's right. what got me to here i wasn't sure. never put on the show for nobody i'm right. just being me so now i put on the show for you niggas you know what i'm talking yeah. about yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah right so do you take real life experiences and turn that into your comedy that's all my comedy really that's all my comedy all my comedy is mostly stories or mostly what we see on tv what we're going through, what I've been through. Like, all my comedy is basically truth. I don't have no real knock knock joke. My shit ain't for me knock knock who's up. Nah, fuck all that. I'm finna give you the real motherfucking deal. I'm gonna tell you that nigga lied on the weather. Yeah. It's born and it's sunny as hell, I tell you. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's yeah. how I'm rocking. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna tell, you know, I'm gonna tell that little black nigga that be doing the interview. You yeah. black, bro. <laughs> I'm gonna tell that nigga. Yeah, like, that's, I'm, you know what I'm saying? I'm just real with it like that. I ain't. Got no real joke. Hence you know the saying? crazy truth. That's it's what it the is. The crazy truth. That's no, all that's it right. is. That's how I'm rocking. So, what do you see yourself in, say, the next two to three years? Two to three, uh, I'm gonna be doing more shows. I'm, I know that for a fact. Um, I can feel it. Uh, from there, I mean, I'll be doing more branding for my name and stuff. And two or three years from now, it'll be more. Hey, you sitting at a table with somebody trying to talk about some real deal stuff. You know what I'm saying? Put me in a position where you want to be. Like I said, I wanted to act. So if this company get me in that door, I want to sit at that table over there and get my script. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. and, and do my thing. So I didn't see you. You know what? You acting, yeah. yeah so yeah, yeah, you got you you got you some shots in yeah, a, in yeah, a movie, yeah. don't shout you? Out, shout out to Trey Williams, the producer of Bloody Nickel. Y'all can go check that out on Tubi. You know what I'm saying? I ain't mean, I got a little scene in the door with Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. yeah. I'm mean, doing it. Yeah. All right. So who do you believe taught you most the most about your craft? I know that you it comes naturally to you, but 
has anybody told you, you know, gave you pointers on how to do certain things when you are doing your stand up or when you are doing your comedy? For sure, for sure. If, if you don't have uh, other comedians around you that's going to critique you, then they ain't fucking with you. I'm just going to be real because, uh, you know, they're doing it too. So what the hell do I care if he's sucking or not or if you need to, and, and, right. you know, do this more? So I got some comedians, like I said, the ones I named, you know, from Rambo, Ray, et cetera, especially that dude there, uh, quickly, you know, hey, nigga, you need to chill out on this. And yeah. You can do this here better. He, he good for it. I can, I can guarantee him that, um, you know. So I got comedians, and I got comedians that if I was to reach out to say, hey, bro, what you think about my set or what do I need to work on, you know, they'll give me some advice, uh, you know. So, But most of all, I really kind of like, I take advice. And use it within I can, you know what I'm saying? Because I don't just take everybody's kids. I just yeah. use it. I, if, it, if I can apply it and, and use it and it's going to help, then hell yeah. But if it's going to knock some out for me, right. then it's like, I heard you, nigga, but I don't need it. You but know I what don't saying? need yeah, it. Yeah, yeah it's kind of, you can take constructive right. criticism right. and it's good and bad. Some things that can help you with your craft. And then other things, it's like, I don't want to switch it up too much because that's not me. That's not me. Absolutely. For sure. Absolutely. So besides the show that you got coming up on April the 8th, the crazy truth. Absolutely. What other shows or what other events do you have coming up? Right after that, I'm back at it again with Black Smooth the Ball. I'm on the 15th at the castle. You know what I'm saying? That's how it is. I'm, 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 this shit don't stop for me. You know what I'm saying? And again, that comes from just the people on me. Black Smooth put up live, I'm talking about live, live, live shows. He, he get the people out there. The people be in there and he put his shit together to where, nigga, you came to a real live show. Like, you feel like you had Cat Williams show or something, the people yeah. in there, the music be jumping. The nigga line to have some monkeys and some zebras in that bitch. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> the nigga be putting it on, he be doing his thing. So, this shit don't stop. And he come and got me because the people want me. You know what I'm saying? He said, hey, man, the show so I did with you last time when we was out there at the Players Lounge, they hollered at me, man. They loved you. I, I gotta bring you back. So on top of that, it's like she, nigga, you helping me help you. I'm helping we helping each other. Let's fucking rock. So I'm back again on the 15th. I know that's right. Right. So y'all see that April the 8th, and then the following weekend he has another show he's doing, and that's on April the 15th. Absolutely. So what time would that be? You know. Uh, I'm pretty sure doors gonna open around about seven, if not eight o'clock, black people time. You know what I'm talking about? And uh, she, I just tell you, you had to be there what time the damn thing say tickets on dick, y'all. Uh, Eventbrite, uh, she, uh, if not, look up Black Smooth with the Barber. I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. That <laughs> nigga there gonna tell you where everything is, man. You can follow my page and all that. It's gonna be on the uh, information and everything, so. Yeah, man. So, so give them your Instagram, your Facebook. Oh, oh, oh for sure. It's crazy ass Nero. Uh, De Nero Richardson. That's D A N E R O R I C H A R D S O N. That's Richardson. Um, on Facebook and on Instagram, it is crazy with a K because I got dyslexia, so I use my shit with a K. So yeah. K R A Z Y A Z Z N E R O. Crazy ass Nero from the four. You already know how I go, baby. Okay, so I just got another question for you. So. What is the most, just to leave off with something like a little, what's the most embarrassing thing that has ever happened to you? See, I'm a nigga that like embarrassment is a choice. Yeah. So I choose not to be embarrassed when I do certain shit. But if anything, I say my kids are embarrassing yeah. shit out of me. <laughs> my kids are trying to embarrass the fuck out of me. You know what I'm saying? I take yeah. the road of goddamn, boy, put your goddamn shoes back on. Yeah. You came up with the black ass socks. The holes in them and shit like I yeah. ain't got no clothes. <laughs> One time a nigga told yeah. me, and he don't got no more draw. Nigga, you eight years old and all you got is eight pound draw. Yeah. Nigga, all yeah. the time you been living. <laughs> nigga, you just, that's how I've been treating you. Yeah. So it was just like, nigga, shit, when you come out here like that, them motherfuckers are embarrassing me. Yeah, like, you know them kids that say, I, I'm hungry in front of everybody. In front of like everybody, like you them. just said, yeah. you know, they get <laughs> Yeah, that nigga shit and stop that yeah. people and shit right. and all that shit is get can get embarrassing. But yeah. I choose not to slap shot them straight up. Yeah. Go eat shit. I ain't spend no money on all y'all. Yeah. I know that's right. <laughs> so before everything is over, what is it that you want to leave for the people? What kind of inspiration or kind of encouraging words that you might have for somebody that's coming up in the game, whether it's comedy or whether it's entrepreneurship or anything like that? What advice would you give? Um, put Yahweh first. Put sure. Yahweh first, understand yourself, and circle yourself around the people that wants to see you. They don't have to be involved, but they're ready and wants to see you. Once they see you, then they'll get involved. Just surround yourself with those people. Stay positive and know yourself. 
Because sure. you know yourself, then you can do a lot of things and you can prevent a lot of things because you know yourself. You know, you're easy to persuade, any of that type of thing. So I encourage every brother, every sister that's getting into anything that they do, know yourself and put Yahweh first and operate like that. And, you know, doors are open. It, it'll swing open, man. It, it, it'll get there and stay focused. That's it, you know, consistency. Because sure. I didn't, like I said, I, I took a break at first. Like, man, I don't know about this shit, but as I kept going, it's Ain't crazy, no stopping. you know, it, it, it's going. So I would tell everybody that consistency, know yourself, put Yahweh first, and she, you know, hey, grind hard. Oh, rock out. <laughs> you rock out. All right, so y'all heard it here first with DHTV, Crazy Ass Nero. Make sure y'all come and check him out on April the 8th. Yes, sir. It's going to be stupid. Show. I got that nigga on the show, too. I got that nigga that is stupid on my show. You hear me? He's going down. Make sure I, yeah. money. I was so down, bad headed the worst. I had to look at my dog and ain't hers. I kept it G, put my life in a verse. Still can't believe I broke the curse. Look, I, I came from robbing the jack, from trapping the rapping. Ain't nothing that I didn't do. Didn't have no food in my stomach. You know how that feel. We was starving to tell you the truth. I used to steal all my clothes. Still got all the hoes. It was crazy, but we made it through. Think I be capping. Oh, God, I was jack. Go ask the streets, because they got the proof. Let me can't let you do me. We ain't been through nothing, can't say you knew me. I don't even know you can't hit the doobie. It gotta be in and out on you. I'm straight out the gutter, I'm straight out the corner. I ran it up cause they love the persona. I'm sliding doodle cause I'm alone. Remember them nights we was on them flights, staying down every day. We up in the cut, all we had was us. We was trying to bust a play. Look, I went from penny pitching, now I'm having. I got my own bag, I ain't flagging. This ain't just me, this a higher power. Been having motion, the streets been out. So, so good, yeah. So good, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I remember them days trying to get paid. We was hungry than a bitch. Don't switch on your brothers, don't fuck with no others, don't let another nigga diss. Ray Ray got the nines, AC got the Drake. Neither one of them gon' miss. Don't play with my cheese, don't fuck with no rats. I'll turn you into Swiss. Don't be for no nigga unless it's the money, but it's never about a bitch. I'm all in New York, I'm all at the game, I don't even watch the Knicks. I'm not for the games, can't fuck with my brain, I ain't nothing for the tricks. Cause you can get shot in this bitch, somebody gon' drop in this bitch. Hey, yeah, I'm really yeah. just thinking the